Adi. Were you dreaming? I'm sorry. Are you ready for some good news? First up, new research has identified four genes that are linked to survival of pancreatic cancer. The study was conducted by researchers at the University of Rochester Medical Center's Wilmot Cancer Institute, the Dana-Farber Brigham and Women's Cancer Center in Boston, and the Stanford Cancer Institute. After sequencing DNA samples collected from 356 patients with pancreatic adenocarcinoma, the most common form of pancreatic cancer, the researchers found a connection between the rate of survival and the presence of alterations in four genes. The four genes are designated KRAS, CDKN2A, SMAD4, and TP53. The study found that patients who carried altered forms of three or four of those genes had a worse survival rate than patients who had altered versions of only one or two of the genes. Pancreatic cancer has one of the lowest survival rates of all cancers. Being able to identify specific factors that influence the odds of survival, like the presence of alterations on those four genes, could be crucial to developing more effective treatments in the future. This study is published in the journal JAMA Oncology. Next up, scientists at the University of Washington have developed a new smart fabric that can store data without electronics. The fabric works by taking advantage of the magnetic properties of conductive thread. That's thread that is laced with metallic fibers, which allow it to conduct electricity. The UW scientists used commercially available conductive thread to create prototypes in the forms of common fashion accessories, belts, neckties, etc. Then, using a magnet, they were able to encode information into the fabric by selectively aligning the magnetic poles of the threads. The fabric works something like a hotel keycard with a magnetic strip, and like a keycard, it has its limitations as a storage medium, the information stored degrades relatively quickly, and its advantages. It can be wiped and reprogrammed with new data multiple times. It can also endure machine washing and drying and ironing while still retaining its information. The data stored in the magnetic fabric can be read by magnetometers, which are incorporated into the designs of most smartphones already. A durable smart fabric that works with existing technology and doesn't require any onboard electronics. That's pretty cool. The paper on this new smart fabric was presented last month at the Association for Computing Machinery's User Interface Software and Technology Symposium. Finally, a new study finds that the billions of public and private dollars spent on conservation over the past 25 years has had a real positive impact. In 1992, the United Nations held the Earth Summit in Rio de Janeiro. Thousands of people from all over the world attended, including official representatives of 172 governments. Issues discussed included climate change, pollution, clean water conservation, and protection of biological diversity. Governments and private organizations went on to spend billions of dollars in pursuit of goals set at the Rio Earth Summit. Now, we have our first clear evidence that, in one area at least, those billions were well spent. A new study by a team from Oxford University, the University of Illinois, and the National University of Singapore confirms that money spent on conservation efforts in countries that signed the UN's Convention on Biological Diversity at the Earth Summit significantly reduced the loss of biodiversity in those countries. The study found that from 1992 to 2003, countries spent a total of $14.4 billion on conservation, and as a result, the rate of decline in biodiversity was 29% lower than predicted. In other words, conservation works. Money spent to save habitats and protect endangered species made a real positive difference. That's good news if I ever heard it. The paper is published in the journal Nature. 
Anyway, what have we learned today? Well, researchers identify genes that are linked to surviving pancreatic cancer, scientists create a smart fabric that can store data without electronics, and a new study confirms that money spent on conservation has had a positive impact on the environment. That's the good news. Hey folks, one more thing before I go. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe, and also please consider helping us to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. You can go to patreon.com slash Steve Shives to become a patron. Thanks for watching.